Well, it's a Monday, which means we welcome Steve Macris uh, back to the station with the latest trends in technology. Good morning, Steve. Mike. And you brought some phones with you today, and they are uh, dream phones. Actually, one is called the HTC Dream Phone. It has something to do with Android. Well, what's up with this? Let's get a close-up of this. This is the, uh, the HTC Dream Phone available at Rogers uh, for $149 with a three-year plan. Um, what it does, it's actually run by a Google um, Android operating system instead of using Windows or other operating systems like Blackberries. So everything on the phone is free. If you look here when you start your phone, you have Google Search. If you look at the bottom, you have Google Gmail. If you sign in with your Gmail, if you have a Gmail account, it autom automatically imports all your contact information uh, and your calendaring that you have on Gmail. So this is like Gmail on steroids on wireless. How does that differ from, let's say, an iPhone? Well, with an iPhone, for example, uh, and this is touchscreen as well, with an iPhone, uh, if you want to go buy applications, which is a really big thing with phones, you have to go to, to, uh, to the, the Apple store. site, the store, and pay for applications as you do. Some a lot of them free. are free, though. Some are free, but the better ones. But everything in the Android marketplace is free. And do they have the same kind of variety as the iPhone would for oh, applications? Well, they, they have thousands. Oh, do they? Okay. It's 35,000. <laughs> so because everything is based on, on a different money concept in Google Online, uh, you get a lot of stuff. Like one of the applications reads uh, barcode scans. Okay. And it'll tell you what other prices of similar objects are within 35 millimeter, 35 kilometer radius. Oh. Mapping, all sorts of neat things. So this phone can get you a lot of mileage on one plan. I, I haven't actually held one of these phones yet, but I understand uh, typing is a big part of it. Where, where's the keyboard on this one? Wait for this. This is this. Look at this. Ah, and that, that's a it's full a keyboard. Huge keyboard. It's pretty amazing. It just goes up and it goes down. All right. And it goes vertical and it goes horizontal. Cool. And you say it's 149 with a plan. With a plan, three-year okay. plan. Next phone. This now, is an Ericsson phone. This is the Sony Ericsson. Let's get a close-up of it. It so, is an it is an eight-megapixel phone. Uh, if you look at the front of it, there is a very serious lens. It's 16x uh, digital zoom. You're saying that's an eight-megapixel camera in a phone? A, exactly. Is that the biggest you've ever Here's seen? Here's the phone. Turn it around. There's the keyboard. And you close it. Uh, this is the biggest digital camera that's available on uh, on a phone. I want to I want to show you this, the shutter speed here and how what some of the neat tricks you can do with the camera. The camera goes in and out. Um, unfortunately, I can't see what I'm doing here in the dark. The camera has anti shake features. It has face recognition. It has an automatic setup to be able to take your picture when you smile. Um, if you run out of time, uh, maybe we'll show it at another time in the show. Um, it has uh, uh, GPS tracking. It has uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, it's great for traveling. It has video. With the 8 megapixels, though, is that as good as a camera with 8 megapixels? You know, I've been trying it, and it is. The only downside to this is that you don't have um, a full optical zoom because you need to have a larger lens for this. But a few years ago, these used to be $1,000 camera phones, but now it'll be available for $249 for a three-year plan, which is still kind of pricey. But if you just want to go somewhere and take good quality pictures and have a phone and be in touch, and because it's Rogers, it's a phone that works all over okay. the world. It's a pretty good deal. Speaking of all over the world, you're heading back to New York for like the third time in a month. We're running out of time now, but you're going to write all about that in your next column? Yeah, uh, actually, before the column, people should check my blog. Okay. Tomorrow and Night because I can't release information. This is an exciting Ooh. new camera and a new type of digital Secretive. camera. I, yeah, I have right. to kill you if I tell you. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Go ahead. See what you can do. <laughs> Bring it on. If you'd like more information on the latest developments in the techno field, as Steve said, go to his blog by heading to stevoid.wordpress.com. And if you'd like to uh, catch more information, of course, you can go to Steve's column and you'll find that regularly in the Edmonton Journal. When we return, a final look at today's forecast. But first, it is time to test your trivia IQ. Take a look at these details and Answer the questions. We'll have the answers for you in just a bit. Commonwealth Stadium will be rocking as the Edmonton Eskimos.